Hey guys, KT here from the NTFC. Today, we're going to look, talk about our green screen. Just got one recently, I did some filming of a setup in the attic, and we're also going to show you how to set it up here. Uh, it's really cheap, under 90 bucks, as I said in the thumbnail. It's a bargain, and it's so easy to do nowadays, you'd be crazy if you don't use it. So let's get to it. Okay, so that's the, the whole package there. So I think it's $84 and free delivery. Um, I've already got one of the lights set up. Um, so I'll show you that, that, one of the stands here. So I'll show you how to do them first. It's very simple. Um, we're gonna just fold them out. Let's get the screen open. Yeah, the screen just spreads out like that, push that up, in the middle, locks in. They just pop open like a normal tripod, I shoot right up. So you've got two lengths there, so they're well over six foot, they'll be six five foot long. Um, these bars here, the top rail for your green screen, just put them together. That. It's like a just like a tent, I guess. Really, really simple. Sets so the top bar. We've got our other light, the top bar for a green screen. That's our soft cover for our light. That just sits over the top of it. A big rectangular uh, fan shape. Um, the actual green screen itself, material and three clips. Just clips. These little clips. Just. Uh, I clip to this top bar, the green screen, so we'll show you that set up. Um, the lights, get two of these. These, I got a free upgrade. They run out of stock for the model I pay for. You know, just a little bit smaller, smaller light. Uh, but I definitely got this. I think this is still around 100, $100 mark. And this is a, uh, what's this one? A 135 watt, 5,500 Kelvin. 220 volts, so that's for Australia, but I'm sure you can get the same in the States. It all comes straight out of China. So those two lights come with it, and that one, the other light is what I'm using for that, so we'll set that up once that's all ready to go. Um, these are the other half of your lights. So I've just got it wrapped up there, the cord round, power cord. Little on off switch so you don't have to go back and forward to the wall, you can just go straight to the switch, which is great. Um, show you a bit of the camera short, we'll show you there. And then here's the other part, which is for the frame, for the green screen. Just get one of these out. And it's exactly the same as the, the light, just pops out. Just slide it out. Sort of sometimes just nudge it along. There we go. Really, really simple. Get to there and then just lock that up. Same as the light, just both get a little locking mechanism slide up and then it's just got a lock bolt where that comes on. So I'll set up and we'll show you from there. Okay, so there's the light. That's how it comes up, the stand, the light. You want to put the bulb in and that just pushes, folds up like that. It's just a push out. Style. Um, probably should be able to do it one handed. Um, we'll come back, I'll set it back up. That's how it is set up with the big lights. So a bit of height, a fair bit of height there. Just that stand. Sorry about the shoes and washing. I don't have much room in my camp room. All well, comes down and there's your light switch there. Just on, off, really easy. And then there's your green screen set up, the frame. So it's just got the two two extendable frame, uh, extendable stands that uh, lock up and then on the top there you can see the clips and they just hang down. The biggest trouble I found, the only problem with green screen I found is, is this needs to be flat so you really, if you can, 
um, let that hang for a while and, and leave it up for longer so it's flat. If you're gonna fold it up like I'm gonna travel, I found when I go do my editing, some of that, that those crinkles do show up, so it's a little bit tricky in that regards. Okay, we're over in iMovie now. Um, here's one I've got preset up. It's just my intro sequence. I just added on a picture and our green screen footage, as you can see. Just that's just all my intro stuff there. Just add the picture that you want in the main timeline. Um, that just carries on. So that's going to be your background, and then your green screen. Uh, footage we're gonna add that on top of that photo that you want to add in once we've got that set up and you're all good to go uh, it's very simple from here and that's just drag and drop and all we do is select that top bar the green screen footage and you can see it highlight and then you'll see the little drop down menu up there it's already in green screen because I'd sort of set it up but it normally comes like that and then all you have to do is when you go up, drop it down to green, blue screen and instantaneously it'll change it for you. As you can see, it's a really good photo, uh, that one, uh, because it's got lots of bright colours. So those little wrinkles and stuff in the material didn't really show up as much. So that was really good. Anyway, we'll move over to Premiere Pro and show you on that one. Okay, over in Premiere Pro and we're in the effects tab. I've got my main footage and my uh, pink footage in my background. I'm gonna have to go and find the ultra key and search for that, add it to my main footage, drop that on there. That will bring your ultra key up into this side here in your editing sequence. Grab the dropper, put onto the green screen, which was there, and that'll change to black. Obviously that little box starts as black and then now green, and that's why I've got that off sort of preset it up for you and you can see the shadows and stuff and I said about the wrinkles um, so that's why it's important to keep that green screen nice and flat and level if you can if you just set it up in a space you use all the time have it nice and flat and pretty much ironed out it'd be about perfect you can see here by changing the output channels you get alpha channel at the current so that's a black and white the wider that is and the blacker the outside is, the better the image is gonna look. That's your color channel. So it gives you your main color screen image and then shows your green screen and the gray. So you can see any of the imperfections. You can see those wrinkles and everything coming up on that green green uh, material. Where, where Adobe is different from uh, iMovie is, you can go and adjust these and settings to suit. Um, so you pick a channel that you want to do an output and I think alpha channel is probably the best to find everything and you can go and adjust each one of these matte cleanup and matte generation ones and these this is just a sort of play with it's like I guess Lightroom adjusting you adjusting the shadows and everything so you want that background nice and black and just keep working on that until you can get it I guess somewhere close that you're happy with. Um, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect, but you can see obviously when I'm adjusting those sliders that it, uh, what the difference it makes. You don't want that, that's going to be transparent. You want to get a nice white, white per the person in a nice bright white outline and then that background as black as possible. And that, that could take, with my wrinkle ones I have to play with it a bit to try and get it half good. That all depends on your background image, you can see how bright that is. There's a little bit of transparency in my collar, um, but this is only a little test run, a quick one. Um, ideally, if you're doing something really good in a 4K image or something like that, make sure that green screen, if that's dead flat, then you wouldn't have to do any of this with your lights on it. And that nice flat screen, the image yet comes out really, really, really good and very easy to swap over. Anyway, so that's green screen, so easy to do. Uh, if you like, hit us a like, uh, subscribe, and hit that bell if you want to see more videos like this. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks guys, have a great day.